Welcome to the Carlo Cirillo Show. In this podcast, I'll be sharing conversations with amazing guests from all walks of life, sharing their stories, their tools, tips, and wisdom to help you level up in your life and leave you inspired, as well as leaving you better than you were before. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope you enjoy this episode. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of the podcast. It has been a hot minute since an episode and, you know, for whatever reason, you know, the past month has been absolutely crazy. I think it was ever since the Conscious Blueprint event that I held. It was just thing after thing and then uh, I was contemplating a new podcast, bringing out a new one and and that's still on the way as well, which is a totally different one to this and rebranding things, but also kind of giving myself that space. I had events on every week in, uh, in August and yeah, I think it all just caught up. And then on top of that, you've got my own personal stuff that was coming up and it was just like, damn, man, and releasing a podcast was like on the last of the priority things for me. And in some ways I do not regret, but I'm also like, well, maybe if I shared a bit of that journey, that would have been also inviting for all of you. Maybe you were feeling the same. How was August for you? Um, but you just never know. And, and for me, it was like I, I needed to prioritize those things, get them done and I think that little bit of a break has has revitalized what's important to me. So a lot of what we're going to talk about today is what's important to you, what's important to me, what's coming up for me, but also returning to those roots and, and how when we get into those funks, we can come back to the basics. And so whenever we come back to the basics, we come back to the core, we come back to the root of things, we start to feel better, we start to feel nourished, and we start to do the things that we enjoy, that we love, and you know, my my big purpose is to help people connect back into who they really are. And how do I do that? Is you know through modalities and mediums like this podcast, like my programs, like the events that I do. So, in some ways, I was like, damn, like I just I, I want to be doing this stuff. And I, I was, you know, maybe you can relate here, um, where you want to do something and then you have maybe so many ideas. I'm definitely someone that does lots of things at once, hence why a second podcast and all the things that I do is like, some people say, man, you do so many things. And it's like, yeah, because I'm, I'm multi-passionate. Like I love all of these things and I enjoy all of these things. So why not do all these things? I, I remember watching a video of Gary V and he was like, we're here. We're not here for a long time. And then when we get here, we're only here for a certain amount of time. And then when we die, we're gone for a very long time. So why not squeeze the life, uh, the juice out of life and make the most of it? And it really resonated because I was like, what kind of life do I want to live? What do I look back on my life and be like, did I, did I just play it small? Did I just get by or did I really live life? And everyone's purpose is going to be different and what they want to do with their life and whatever scale that is on for them perfect but i know for me it's i want to impact as many people as possible with that purpose of connecting helping people connect back into who they really are and that's why i've kind of taken that time to reconnect to my why reconnect to why is this important to me why am i doing all of this stuff like why have i just launched an app why why am i doing all these events why am i releasing podcasts why am i you know sharing the content that i share on instagram and you know i like to look at these things on a wider scale because when i do it takes it out of the micro of the little things that i'm doing and i look at the macro of what is the life that i want to live and over the challenges of last month, um, it wasn't as simple as just sitting down and going back to that, although now you're listening to it. So this is the hindsight and, and wisdom from me is like, actually sit and write this thing down and, and think about it. And it wasn't until the weekend when, you know, the guys from Sacred or, or all of our team, we call ourselves, you know, the Power Rangers, the Dream Team, we sat and we shared our visions and then we seen how everyone's aligned, seen why it makes sense that we're all doing this together because our visions intertwine so perfectly and that's where we come together to help each other in doing that. And I love that. I love that about community. I love that about the people that I've attracted in my life over the past 12 months because it's a really incredible feeling doing this with a bunch of people that also share 
a somewhat similar vision, but also those values of, of just, you know, improving the planet, helping people, like genuinely helping people. And, you know, I had to go through that month of, of things challenging. I was challenging myself. Like I was just sitting there and I was thinking, you know, why am I doing this? Or what? like I'd see something on Instagram. I'm like, why are they doing that? And then I'm like, hang on, but that's okay. They're allowed to do that. But then it's like, well, why is that triggering me? And then why am I not doing that? So it was, it was a fun week, but really laying a fun month, really laying out what I wanted to achieve in my life, what I wanted to do, the impact I wanted to create in the world was really special. And yeah, it really helped me connect back into what I want for myself and what I want for, you know, the people around me, but also the planet and like on a micro, what I want for myself and then what I want to then do for the planet and leave on the planet. So yeah, that time off where I was feeling that funk and don't get me wrong, I'm still feeling a bit of that funkiness where I don't feel the full 100% Carlo and hence why I have you know, haven't released an episode because I'm like, how can I bring Carlo to the table when I'm not feeling it? But here I am. And I think that's another part of it where it's like, you know, you, you get to choose and s- to sit in it and, and avoid it or you can kind of work through it, work with it and show up anyway and I feel that maybe it's the next level of my life maybe it's the next you know the next season for me where it's like it's not what the old Carlo was but maybe I get to rejuvenate and and come back and create something new um I was listening to a podcast that I did a while ago on on on, or an episode I did on the podcast and you know I was like really high energy and I was like hey everyone welcome to the podcast this 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 and I'm like man, I just don't feel that anymore. And like, is it like, am I tired? Like, if I don't have enough sleep, <laughs> you know, I'm drinking the shine drinks, but uh, is this, uh, <laughs> what's happening here? But I'm kind of realizing that it's like, it's okay to be grounded in whatever I'm feeling, whatever is coming up, how I want to share that message. It doesn't have to be how it was. Am I going to be the guy that dances on TikTok and tries to follow those trends? And, and the reality is, is no. I'm going to be sharing my message in my way and yes, I'll take advantage of the certain strategies but is, although some people might remember me from like the dancing videos a couple of years ago (laughs) but right now it's about, you know, can I do it through inspiration? Can I do it through sharing my message? You know, video, audio, all of that and when I looked at that vision, I was just like, okay, I can see where I've fallen into this funk and I can see where I've fallen into this maybe overwhelm, maybe just like stagnation. Have you ever felt this? Like, and if you have, like, I'm sure you're nodding your head there being like, yeah, I'm either in it or if I know what you're talking about, Carlo. And it's it's a funny place. <laughs> and, uh, you know, doing this reflection, I was looking back and I'm like, well, what's what have I done for so long that's been good, that keeps me in the energy, keeps me in the vibration, keeps me um, feeling alive, feeling good, and doing all the things that, you know, I've wanted to do. And it kind of leads me down that path. There's there's normally one or two things that you're doing that nudge you in that direction all the time. Now, you know, for the most part of my life, it was soccer, right? When I was doing that, I was feeling healthier. I was, I was moving my body. Um, maybe it was reading books. I was, a bit, I was like used to be really, really adamant on reading, you know, possibly every night. So, when I was doing that, I, I was noticing oh, I'm learning, I'm, I'm being around, you know, these you know book mentors, and then I'm like, well, what's what hasn't been happening in the past, you know, couple of months or even past twelve months where I don't feel myself? And I was like, think, what is that thing that I love, or what are the things that I love doing that I'm just not doing? Because it's not like it's this groundbreaking thing that you've never done, right? You've you've felt that energy, you've felt that version of you. But when you're in a funk, you're kind of like, I don't know, I can't see it. And sometimes we need other people, but self-reflection is really important. So if you're feeling that right now, like use these questions and reflect in with yourself. And I was thinking back and I was just like, you know what I'm not doing is I'm not having conversations. I'm just sitting with myself and going, poor me, I've got to deal with this and this is so hard and another challenge and blah, 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 blah. Which, you know, there's definitely a time and place to sit with those things. But I also recognize that I was choosing that over releasing an episode. Like, I I do have episodes that have been recorded that I could have just released. I wanted to do a solo episode, and then I was overthinking it. And I'm like, what would I talk about? I don't feel like sharing. And it's just like, well, when you overthink something, of course, it's just going to delay 
the progress of something. And as we know in whether it's business or, or following our purpose, or whatever it may be, it's, it's taking that messy action. But I was avoiding it for so long and I made excuses and reasons not to do it. And it wasn't that I didn't love it. Maybe I needed that break. Right? I don't know. Um, but definitely coming back in, I'm just like, well, even about to record this, I was like, oh, what am, what am I really going to share? What's going to be groundbreaking? And it's like, well, it's not supposed to be you know, made up groundbreaking information. Like it's, I'm sharing me and that's what I've always been doing is sharing me. And if that resonates with someone, if you're listening right now and it like plants a seed in your mind that helps you along your journey, then that's what I'm doing, right? And, and I was like, okay, well, when I'm doing this, I feel good. So today I had a podcast. I was the first episode on a um, on this amazing woman's podcast that she's launching. And after it, I was just like, that like I love doing this. I love sharing more. Why haven't I jumped on more podcasts? I've actually declined some because I was like, oh, I've got this event on and I've got so much to do. And yes, I have to prioritize my stuff, but also I love sharing. You know, I, I've figured out that I love creating, teaching, sharing. I create through, um, you know, whether it's podcasts, whether it's video, um, audio channels, YouTube, whatever it may be. I'm creating uh, Instagram. I'm creating content that I love to put out there and I love to consume as well. I'm teaching through um, creating, te- yeah, teaching through my programs, uh, one-on-one mentoring, um, the Conscious Blueprint, uh, the workshops that I'm doing, all of that stuff. Like I'm teaching through all those different platforms. And then sharing is like, you know, sharing it to others, like sharing it to you right now. Like I'm learning as well along the process, but then sharing it. And when I'm doing those things, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like myself and I'm feeling like I'm on purpose. And it it is because that's part of my purpose is just doing that thing. When I got overwhelmed in the numbers or the financials or this and that, and we've, trust me, even with Sala, we've been having a few different, um, challenges where it's like, well, we have to make some big decisions and which way do we go? And that takes over and you lose sight and you lose drive because you step out of the things that you're most passionate about because you're worried about whatever else is happening. I'm sure you can relate, like whether it's, you know, a relationship thing or a money thing or or something happening at work and you stop doing those things. Of course, you feel like you're in a funk because you're not doing the things that are fun. This stuff is fun to me right? Sitting here right now and whether you're watching on YouTube, whether you're on, this is on Instagram or, or whether you're um, on whatever platform you're listening on, this is fun for me. Like for three years, like looking at this this lady and having a chat to her afterwards, she's like, oh, I'm still a bit nervous. I don't know if that was, you know, should we redo that episode? And I'm like, no, just put it out there and put out 10 episodes and see if you love it. And I remember getting that advice myself and even saying to myself, if I get past 10, I'll see if I love it. And if I don't, I won't do it. And I got past 10 and I was like, I love this. And I love interviewing people. I love having those conversations. And I honestly sat there and I was like, man, I would, why am I not doing this more? And I need to step through, and, and this is like, let's let's even have a chat about confidence, right? Confidence to do the thing you want to do. The first step is courage. And I'm like, just step in and do it. And I'm doing it right now. And is it is it messy? Sure. Like, there's no plan to this. I don't, I don't want there to be a plan to it. But the second part after that is just being super consistent. And that's something that I did so well over the past three years was be consistent. And, you know, once you start to be consistent, you start to get really competent, in what you're doing. And when you get competent in what you're doing, you're really, really good at it. I think I've missed one. No, yeah. F- sorry, the first one was clarity. <laughs> clarity, then courage. Clarity on what you want to do. So for me, it was like speaking more. Courage to do it. Then be consistent with it, right? Whether I'm doing it once a week, twice a week, three times a week, whatever it is. Like if something's fun to you, you do it as many times as you want, right? And I really battled with, oh, if I release two podcasts a week, is that going to be too much to people? Um, You know, if I release three, are people going to get annoyed? And it's like, you're not going to listen to this if you don't want to listen to it. But if you want to, you'd listen to something every day. Like when I find a podcast that I like, which I don't really find new ones these days because I've got my favorites, but I go back and I just listen and listen and listen. And I was like, but you're missing that opportunity, Carlo. Like if uh, this is one thing that I've played around with so long. I would love 
And if anyone has any contacts, this would be amazing. I would love to host my own radio show. Like, I don't care what it's called. Um, I don't even care if it's just an hour. Like, I would love to chat, love to ring people, I'd love to ask conversations, share a bit of mindset stuff, maybe play a bit of music, I don't know. But just have a show that's regular, that's like every day would be so awesome. And I was sitting back and I'm like, but you have your own podcast. You don't have to go get a job in a radio station. We're going to have to talk about stuff you don't want to talk about, like Love Island and whatever, shows I don't watch, right? So I was like, why don't I just create my own radio show here on my podcast? And then, you know, when those thoughts came up of like, but you can't do that. It's a podcast. It's once a week or once a month. I was like, I can do whatever I want to do with it. And... I hope that lands with you is you can do whatever you want to do with the dream that you have ahead of you or the the vision that you have. You can do it however, whatever way you want to do it. If you want to release a podcast every single day, do it. If you want to create loads of content every day, do it. If you want to do one a week, do it. Like I really feel like if we limit ourselves to it has to be done a certain way or it can't be done this way, you're already putting yourself in a box. And you know that story about, you know, if you have a flea in a box and um, it only jumps to the height of the box because it hits its head so many times that it goes, well, I'm not going to do that. And then when it, if it has babies, the babies only jump that high. And if you take the lid off, they don't jump any higher because they've been conditioned to jump only that high. It's similar to us. When we condition ourselves, we won't jump any higher. And I was like, well, damn, I can always try it for a week, two weeks, a month. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But if it does, could that be fun? And and I just think like, what could be fun to me? Like the whole concept of, you might've seen me traveling around Australia doing the Sala events. And I'm like, that would be fun to travel, to share my meditations, to share these workshops with people around Australia. And and obviously the doubts kick in. They're like, what if no one shows up? Like, who's going to buy tickets to this? And then I get there and I know I don't know more than half of the room and I'm like, whoa. And then afterwards, getting the feedback from everyone, then posting photos on Instagram or reaching out like DMs of how powerful it was. It's just like, whoa, this is fun. It gets to be fun. So when I was in that funk, right? And remember, there's just a K on the end of funk there, right? In that funkiness, it was like, we'll take out the K. <laughs> whatever the K stands for I don't know but reach out if you know the word maybe it's like k- k- it's not kind k- I don't know <laughs> capacity no that's a C anyway take off the K and start having more fun when you're in a funk start having more fun start doing things that are fun to you and when you start doing those fun things you're in a a state of play you're in a state of flow and when you start doing those things it's naturally going to drag you out of those funks because you're enjoying it you're getting back to your 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 childlike play of doing things and that could be creating content that could be you know for me it's it's doing podcasts talking to more people it could be just doing the things that you love doing you know, without the expectation of all these pressures of whether it's financial or it's getting the most likes or whatever, just do the things that are most fun to you. And I feel like when we start doing that, it will bring back the drive. It'll bring back the passion. It'll bring back the enthusiasm. Like I'm even noticing, because how I record this one is with the Zoom setup, right? And I have to look at myself. Um, And I just see the energy on my face where I'm just like, I love this. Why have I not done this? Why don't I do this every day? Um, And I remember having a few people a month ago when I was like, this is my plan. This is what I want to do. And they were just like, that's too much content. You know, how are you going to sustain that? And, you know, are people really going to look at everything? And I got a bit disheartened. And then, you know, sitting here, I'm just like, why? Why am I listening to that? They're not me. And if I enjoy doing it, why wouldn't I do it more? And I think when we have those that attitude, it goes back to this really awesome quote that I seen on Instagram in a reel. And it was, the man that loves walking will walk further than the man that loves the destination. And what that means is if you enjoy walking, if you're having fun along the way, you won't just get to the destination or the goal or the achievement and stop and then be like, well, I don't want to do anything else. I've just reached it. You will continuously play in your life. You will continuously have fun. You will continuously be enjoying the journey 
no matter what happens. And there's going to be lots that happens on the journey. So why not have fun along the way? I feel like so many of us right now are not having fun, whether that's in their relationships, in their work, in their um, sporting teams, whatever it may be. And I want to ask you, why aren't you having fun? And how can you start having more fun? It's not going to cost you anything, but what is going to cost you is not having fun along the way. So how can you bring more fun into your life? And that's what I started doing for myself. And even just now, like on this, I'm having fun doing this. So why would I hold myself back from doing that, doing the things that are most fun? I don't know. It, look, we look back and we go, that's so silly. Why, why did I stop doing that in the first place? But if you're in that funk and you feel like you've been stagnant in that funk for a while, go back to having fun. And um, when you've figured out what that fun is, drop me a DM on Instagram, like come across Carlo underscore Cirillo and share with me. What's that fun thing? You know, and maybe it isn't, you know, maybe you're not like me. You don't want to share on social media all the time or maybe you just want to DM me and that's fine. But just go do that fun thing. If it's dancing in your room to your favorite song, go do it. If it's going for a walk every day, if it's going to the gym, um, you know, if, if what's fun for you is going out on the weekend and, and going to a nightclub and having a dance, like do that. If it's fun to go for coffee for you, just go do it, right? I'm giving you permission right now. Father Carl. Um, <laughs> I'm not making that a thing. Father Carlo. Um, mentor Carlo is giving you permission. But yeah, and really when I when I look back and I go, when I was in the most fun, that's when all, you know, you look at the law of attraction, like you're in a fun energy. That's when the things were just being magnetized to me. They were being... Um, kind of just falling on my lap, these opportunities. I'd be waking up and, you know, there'd be a, a brand partnership that would come up and it's like, well, they're, they're going to be attracted to people having fun. Um, these opportunities to do these events, if I'm having fun, people are going to get the most out of it. Um, and if I'm also thinking in terms of fun, I'm also more creative because I'm in that fun energy. So I just see so many benefits from that. And I feel like if there's anything from this episode, it's just like, get back to fun. And what that means for me is there's going to be more episodes. That means there's going to be another podcast. Um, stay tuned for that. But more conversations, more connecting, more events, more the things that I love doing, more more trips, more travel, more nature, more time by myself because that's also fun as well. So what if we prioritize more fun? How much or how better would our life be or how much would we enjoy life more? So that's my focus moving on from there. Um, we have so many things coming up in September, um, September, October, November, December. The back half of this year is just super exciting. Um, we've just come off having an event every weekend for Sala. We've got a little bit of a break um, in September while we work out spring and re we redevelop a few things, but we'll come back with some huge events in October for spring. Um, leading into summer and then, you know, we've got soul journeys coming up with the team. Um, I've got meditations that I'm doing live in person in a studio in Essendon, uh, which is in Melbourne. And also you can join in online. There's tickets that like go to the link in my bio. You'll see everything. It'll be in the show notes below. Um, Sala is is being redeveloped and, and remodeled and rebranded, which is really, really exciting. Um, we have Lost Paradise. So if you're going to Lost Paradise, uh, in New South Wales over New Year's. We're going to be there. I'm going to be running meditations for um, everyone at the festival, which is really, really cool, and then helping out with the cacao bar. And then um, like the day after we finish there, we'll probably be flying out to Bali because we're uh, a partner of a retreat that's running. So, so many, so many things coming up. And then in between that, I'm going to be putting live shows on again. Um, so Carlos Cerullo show live. So if you're in Melbourne, you can come check it out. You can come join us for the conversation. And we normally do it at a fun place, like at the bouldering gym. Um, we hang out afterwards, have some food and we get to mingle. And I love meeting you guys. I've had so many people that have listened to the podcast, come to those events or even to the Sala events. And they're like, I remember you, like I listened to your podcast and I'm just like, that still is just wild in my mind to be like, you guys listen to the shit that I talk. <laughs> but it also is like, well, there's some pretty awesome content in here. There's pretty awesome, you know, conversations that I share with some incredible people. And I want to bring more of them back on, especially some of the previous guests. I want to get them back on because I'm either really good friends with them or they've got more to share. And the more we share, the more we grow and the more you guys learn, the more you guys get inspired. 
And when you're inspired, you start living the life that you want to live. And I think that's really, really awesome to do that. So I'm going to be sharing more and we having more fun and um, sharing that on social media. So um, if it triggers you, awesome. Hopefully that will then inspire you to have more fun. But if it inspires you, then awesome. Go go have more fun. Go share that with people because that energy is just electric and it's so attractive and people love that. People are attracted to people that are having fun. Um, so let's all have fun together. Let's go do the things that we want to do. Let's live our dreams. Let's smash our goals. Let's, let's live our vision of the life that we want to live. And um, if you ever want to see anything, just go to the link in my bio on Instagram. Um, links to everything will be on there, in there, and you can just click on them, whether it's a free event, a paid event, um, online event, in-person event, they're all there and you can check all of them out. And you can also join me at Cold and Conscious. Um, I haven't been there for a lot of Sundays because of the Sala events, but for the next few weeks, I'll be there and I'll be facilitating alongside the crew. Um, depending on when you listen to this, I've got you know full moon meditation, new moon meditation, in-person, online, um, and then a bunch of events. Like our Conscious Blueprint is coming up again in a month's time and early bird tickets finish soon. So would love love to have you there. There's going to be about 80 people in the room, which is going to be incredible. So links to all that will be below. Uh, You just click the one link and it comes up with everything, basically a calendar of stuff. So plenty of opportunities to connect, plenty of opportunities to uh, be inspired and join the conversation, but also be a part of the community that we're growing. And um, yeah, which, which really fills my heart with how beautiful that community is and would love to have you a part of it. So if you've made it this far, thank you so, so much. Take a screenshot, put it on your story, share it with others out there. It would mean the world to me, but also come to my DMs and say hello and say you enjoyed this episode, or maybe you didn't come say it anyway. Would love to connect with you and um, yeah, make those connections because that means a lot to me through this podcast. And um, thank you to our sponsors, Sacred Cacao, Link will be in the bio. Um, you always see me drinking cacao, using it at our events. It's a beautiful heart opener. Go check it out. And then Shine Drink. So it's a, a better energy nootropic. It's like a healthy energy drink. I don't know if I can actually say that. But anyway, um, I've been drinking them. Nootropics, good ingredients, natural energy. I love using those as well, um, as well as all the other sponsors. Thank you so much. It is so awesome. Uh, especially Sala. If you haven't got the app, go check it out. My meditations are on there as well as from uh, movement, meditation, breath work and sound healing from other teachers from around Australia. So go check it out. Everything will be in the show notes below. And until next time, everyone, take care. Peace. Thank you for joining me in that incredible episode and conversation. I hope you got so much value from it. And what I want you to do is to make note of what stood out for you and start to implement that in your life. That's how we make changes and those changes will then change our life. If you want to connect with me and the podcast, just go to my Instagram, Carlo underscore Cirillo. Check out all the show notes below for any links or notes that I've taken from this specific episode. And I cannot wait to share more conversations with you. Thank you so much for joining me. Please like, subscribe, and uh, leave a rating and review. That would mean so much to me. So grateful for you. Take care, everyone. Peace.